Hello friends, I am Satrugan and I am going to tell you how to make an obstacle avoider robot. chassis which I got in a workshop which was held in our college. These are some screw to uh, fix the chassis and uh, other parts. These are two DC motors. These are two wheels. And the most important thing is this is a development board which we got at the same place. This is a programmer through which we can burn the program in our robot. And these are sensors which are IR sensors and these are some wires. Now I'm going to sell, show you the overall equipment that we require. Chassis, the screws, the development board, the DC motors, the wheels, the programmer and these are the IR sensors. Now I am going to assemble these kits with the help of the screws and you can see the wheels and first of all put the slot given here you can see and so we are going to put it in the slot You can see it, it is having Atmel processor and uh, all these stuff. There is a slot for LCD and here is a slot for adapter which is 9 volt adapter. You can see here, we are having this, this slot. Now we are going to fix the development board here <coughs> with the help of screws. the motor with the development board here you can see the slot is given and here m1 and m2 is written means uh, we have to connect the motor one here and so we are going to fix like this similarly you can put the second slot here now we are done now you can see here is a lcd so this is a new one and uh, this is a 16 pin LCD which I got in the same place in the same workshop and now we are going to fix the LCD here you can see in the board also there is a slot 16 pin slot given so we are going to fix like this and now we are done with the LCD okay now you can see the sensors here this is an IR sensor okay this is an emitter and this is the receiver so you can put like this you can see here there is a slot given for the sensors there are four slots but we are going to use only two slots so you can put it here and similarly you can put all these wires in the same sequence you can see there is a perfect match similarly we are going to put the second
and uh, you can see it is slot given to mount the IR sensors and uh, with the help of screws we are going to fix this and uh, one more important thing is we have caster nut here and so because only we have two wheels only so when it will move forward then it will cause friction so to avoid this we are having this caster nut you can see here so we are going to put it here to reduce friction and now one more important thing is since it is a programmable robot so there is a, this is a connector this is a programmer which connects the laptop to the development board and uh, whatever program we write in the embedded C software we burn the program through this programmer and uh, this is a USB we put it in the laptop and this slot goes in the development board like this so friends we are almost done with our board and now the one thing that's left is the programming so whatever program you have written in the embedded C you are going to burn this program to the development board you can see we are going to put this programmer in our laptop and it, now you can see the motor just started running it's because uh, we had already burnt a program here and it was a different program and you can see here some words are displaying uh, on the LCD this is uh, the program in which you can do so many things you can write on the LCD you can give different direction to the motor and uh, you can see here the sensors working ok now you can see here we have written program in our laptop and you can see this is an AVR, this is in AVR studio and uh, we are doing with the help of 80 mega processor and this is atmel processor you can see we have written the program in embedded c programming and uh, so you can see the programs we, i learned all these things in the workshop that uh, i attended you can see here all the programs and now i am going to build this program so after writing the program we are going to build this and you can see here there is option for build so after building you can see there that uh, my program has succeeded build succeeded with warnings uh, the warning does not matter if the program is success then you can go to the burner vi gui burner and here you can select the program so you can see i'm going to select the hex file here is a hex file so i'm going to select this and burn this in my bot you can see the progress here it's going to it's showing its progress now you can see now my program has succeeded and now you can see the motor has started you can see here the bot has started showing movements now you can see now you can see here my bot has started showing response now i'm going to show you how the sensor works now if i'm putting my hand on this you can see in the same manner it's showing its response now you can see here now this is all about the programmer that we use you can see all the connections here and the words that are displaying on the LCD now we are going to test our bot as you can see we are first switching it on and now you can see it starts moving when any obstacle comes uh, in front of it it moves back then it turns and again moves forward as you can see when the obstacle comes it again moves back and turns and thus it performs this function
Thank you. 